Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. We have all seen these types of boards and have one time or another sold them as low grade or with our steel. Besides the copper, wire, aluminum, and transformers we remove off the board, there is one item I want to talk about, and that is IC chips. Now, I have saved a few boards for this video, and let's see how much I've collected. For this video, I've collected 29 pounds of boards. So now let's do the math. 29 pounds at 10 cents a pound equals $2.90. Ouch, that hurts. Let's remove the IC chips first and go from there. So this is an electric desoldering gun with a pump. As you're removing the solder, it gets pumped through this nozzle here and the shaft gets really hot so you want to be very careful. So I'm going to let this warm up while I get my boards ready. Now that my gun is ready, let's look at these boards for the IC chips. Here you see some IC chips and as I turn it around you can see the pins connected to the solder. So now with the gun, I'm just placing it right over the pin, melting the solder, and removing it from the board. This is just one of many techniques I'm going to show you today in this video. Now with a pair of pliers. There's your IC chip. A heat gun is something else you can use, but I would definitely prefer you do this outside or in a well ventilated area. As I'm heating up the solder, there are other chemicals on this board that you don't want to inhale. So please do this outside. And as I'm removing the chip, you can see the board became very soft. Now I'm going to use some pliers on these pieces of low grade board to see if we can remove the IC chips. See with that little back and forth motion, I was able to remove it with ease. Now with this board, I wasn't so lucky. Sometimes a little too much pressure can actually break the IC chips.
And sometimes if you use too much pressure, you can end up snapping the IC chips in half or completely destroying them. Now this is a larger IC chip. With my pliers, this will definitely break in half. Use another tool called a metal bender. This tool will completely cover the IC chip, making it easier to remove. As you can see, it's taking the force for the entire IC chip and not just in the center that can make it snap in half. Does get a little getting used to. Another tool is a wire cutter. I would start by cutting off the corners first and then working my way back to the center. Once you have one side removed, just try cutting the other side off and try not to put too much pressure on the IC chip for you may break it in half. Removing the chips off these boards, especially PCI, peripheral and mid-grade is something I would not recommend. But if you're getting steel price at your scrapyard and the shipping is too expensive, then I'll show you how to remove the chips here so you can just sell the chips alone. By getting a sharp screwdriver, you can score the edges off, maybe three of the four, and you can easily remove the chip to sell later. Now for a chip like this, you're definitely going to have to use a screwdriver and a hammer to remove this. You could use a small chisel if you have one. Now let's strip all these boards.
All right, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. I want to thank BoardSort.com for sponsoring this video. Right now, you're going to see a price list and a little bit of bloopers from uh, me making the video. Till then, this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Peace. heating up the gun when I hit the cord and this is the end result. All right guys, I'm going to show you a behind the scenes of me setting up the table for the next shot. I hope you like it. <laughs> 